This is Carol Hornett with a One Take Work Love Play Daily Video Blog. And what's been on my mind started yesterday and came to an interesting conclusion today, or at least a uh, conclusion to what's the beginning of a lot of thinking, is should we give employees what they want? I was on a tweet chat yesterday with the co-health group and Ron Leopold was on talking about MetLife's ninth annual employee benefits survey. We wound up in this exchange of tweets around the fact of employees, employees wanting certain kinds of benefits, the fact that healthcare benefits are actually covered by employers are actually is declining. It's somewhere in the 40% range, and if you think about it, five, six years ago it was in the 75% range. So a huge change in that. That employees really do want and do appreciate benefits, including the millennials. Um, and uh, but maybe what they really want is a different kind of benefit. And so, for example, one of the things that we talked about was the resurgence of pet insurance, something which anybody who's worked in insurance will tell you is just certainly really just not the best value benefit, but people want it. So I started this exchange on, well, should we give people what they want or what they really need? Like, would I personally, in the insurance aspect, want to see somebody buy pet insurance or disability insurance? And Every time I'm going to choose disability insurance, but maybe that's not what they want. Well, today I had this really interesting conversation with Paige Craig and Nicole Jordan of a new company called BetterWorks, and they are a company which is offering ways for small and medium-sized employers, I guess all employers, but their focus is on the small and, and mid-sized employer market, to offer their employees perks and perks that they want and it's fun and to use their words sexy things it's you know things anything actually and everything that an employee may want maybe about even 80 percent of the time so it can be pet walking services and car detailers that will come to your place of work and or deliver your dry cleaning to your house or restaurants that you want to go to or really cool workout places or yoga studios that you want to be to so it's um a hyper -lo local loyalty program and what makes it different than other loyalty programs instead of a national discount at like LA Fitness um, it's it's your neighborhood place and then um, when they come and they enroll people they ask people what they want and about 80% of the time they negotiate it particularly if they can get a number of employers in a similar area to have employees want the same thing and so it's really solidified this thought I have is that if we really want to increase employee productivity, we need to look at some of the factors that really do that and are associated with that. And as Henry Albrecht at Limeade has talked about, very often it's not the health parameters. It's the same parameters that produce happiness at work, that you like your job, you like your employer, you like the people you work with, you feel like you're making a difference. And it's these intangibles that are actually making our people more productive, and some people even argue healthier. So my vote now is that perhaps we should give people what they want and not necessarily what they need. I'm not their mother. <laughs> this is Carol Harnett with the One Take Work Love Play Daily Video Blog saying that I hope you had some great work today, that you're going to enjoy some tremendous love, and that you didn't forget to play. Bye.